Hello, this is Crafty, it's Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And in this episode, we're gonna do some strange stuff. Yeah. Firstly, I actually did a lot of tree breeding, and I got a lot of good trees. And I will still continue with them. And actually, let's check. Do I we have any more crossbreeding weapons? No, not yet. Uh, this batch is new, so there's no not a visible crossbreeding yet. Anyway, also some bee breeding, and uh, let's look at it. Yeah, this is current our current bee situation, and what I'm planning to do is to this entire branch and actually do, do nearly all of them yeah that's the end goal and for trees i actually did a lot i'm currently trying to get those three those three trees anyway <laughs> let's continue uh besides that i also and uh, actually, I did a lot and not much at the same time. I, by the way, also get steel and lead uh, bees, but I cannot... Uh, actually, I can run steel, but cannot run the lead one. So yeah, that's the current situation. And this episode, we're gonna tackle our energy production. By a bit, by a bit. And we're gonna do that in the nuclear fashion. And yeah, those two cannot be done. But first, I have to ask you something. Uh, actually, in my current uh, business, I, if you know uh, about that, I'm currently moving. Uh, actually, you should be knowing that because I'm saying that all day. In every episode, and yeah, that took my and uh, most of my time. Also, I have a, a bit more busy schedule at work, and yeah, the patch starts with a uh, a bit, bit, bit more tedious point. Yeah, most of the projects we are going to make are gonna require a lot more effort than the previous projects yeah we are currently at that point of this patch so what i'm planning to do is slightly changing how we're we do things by that i'm not just going to say we're gonna make this thing in this episode actually we're gonna do that but it's more of a not in a single day of recording, but more of a multi-day recording that is part part by part by part and ended up getting cropped together. So it will be more in between uh, the, um, in some moments in the episodes and also in between between the episodes. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop the frequency of the episodes by a bit. Actually, maybe by a lot. I didn't want to do that, but the patch currently forces me to do that. Anyway, a phone interruption aside. Yeah, uh, this is current current situation with this series and i'm actually wanting your feedback about that also i have two new machines here iv mixer and assembler because i wanted to make something interesting with yeah uh, one of the things that we're gonna use is hsse and it requires an iv mixer and yeah, for one more thing, which I do, ah, yeah, the quails, HSSG quails. Yeah, for that, I required IV assembler. So, yeah, we start with our IV machines too. And 
Yep, so we're gonna do a basic reactor today. This re reactor will be super basic and uh, won't do much besides producing some energy. Yeah, and with that, let's place the base nuclear reactor. And we got an achievement. Nuclear reactor trophy. Yes. And this one actually does not cut. Actually, it might cut. Because I'm going to use a really simple design at the moment. But we can just upgrade this guy. And every bit that we add allows us to use another uh, space. So yeah, but in this current uh, iteration, it will just be this. And if I remember correctly, uh, small notes. Ah, oh, yeah. And... Uh, in, okay, if whether you use okay, now let's place these components first. <clears throat> We're gonna use a really, really, really simple reactor design for now, and this is just going to produce some EU. But next episode, we're gonna upgrade this reactor to a beast. A huge beast. And that beast is the fluid reactor. And if I get a lever, lever, and I'm gonna get some cables. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, this guy will produce uh, not even an EV amp of. Yeah, it should produce half of an EV and, and more than half of an EV, but yeah, let's place the wires and continue with this setup. And if we get here and we are going to need a toolbox. And voila. And if I do this, it should stop the reactor. And do, do I going to need... Yep, I'm going to need uh, this. Anyway. Uh, it starts. Okay, it's off. It's... Okay. It's on with uh, redstone and off with without redstone. And as you can see, we're getting some EV. EU. And let's look at the... Where is it? So where did I... Ah, yeah, portable scanner. It's currently producing... Do you show the production rates? No. Okay, yeah, it's this much EU. And the temperature is fine, fine. And yep, this is the current setup. It produces some EU and it actually benefits the, the, the rest of the system, but this is not going to, we are going to do for the rest. What we're gonna do is much, 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 much more powerful. But I still have some stuff to do that... Uh, do with that. What we're gonna do is... First, place this guy here. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Second, what we're gonna do is actually... a bit of here. A fluid reactor. Fluid reactor is actually something amazing. Uh, I never played with fluid reactors before. 
I played a, with a bunch of uh, vanilla nuclear reactors. They are all amazing. But I never played uh, with fluid ones. And I actually want to. Uh, they are super cool. They actually benef uh, has some benefits. And they are their output is amazing. They are not as cool as the vacuum, uh, not uh, efficient as the vacuum ones, as far as I'm aware. And or they are, but they require a, a bit more infrastructure. But I'm willing to do that because I love making infrastructures. And actually, I made a bit, uh, a bit of it. Uh, the fluid reactors actually in core, in literally core, the nuclear reactor, just the regular nuclear reactor, but we are just placing another layer on top, and instead of they producing directly EU, now they are producing heat, just heat, like the actual nuclear reactors, by the way. And what you're gonna do is take coolant, cool the reactor, take the hot coolant and put them in large heat exchangers. And this guy will cool it, it. cool it with distilled water. So uh, what I'm going to do is this guy, uh, some tanks and some distilleries, distillation towers for creating uh, uh, distilled water, uh, constantly creating distilled water. And then this guy, depending on how much heat we are gonna uh, provide with him, either produce steam or superheated steam. Superheated steam uh, let's look at here, and so where is it? How to generate power. <clears throat> and by the way, actually, I... Oh. I need to make a few more. Uh, it's easy to make. Anyway, uh, let's look at this super... Eh. Large high-pressure steam turbine. This will... Uh, this will run with hyper uh, uh, superheated steam and outputs both EU and regular steam. So we just put that into the large steam turbine. Uh, so yeah, it may it technically doubles our entire EU production with hyper uh, superheated steam. So. Try to go with uh, superheated steam as uh, as soon as possible. What we're going to gonna achieve is that. So I just need to do some calculations and how many turbines I'm gonna need, how many uh, this guy I'm gonna need, if or is it okay for just single one? And yeah make the infrastructure for it. So that's going gonna be an interesting journey and I'm still not fully ready. Uh, I still have to craft a lot of things and I'm running out of time here. So basically this is just a huge update episode. Uh, 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 just a simple update episode and what we're gonna do is just I showed this guy, the, this reactor, and also we're gonna we made some more thingy magies. And so where is the supernatural one? I think I put ah, okay. The supernatural queen is here. And uh, by the way, uh, you might see some nice uh, trivia as a nice callback to a really fun show that I'm actually a huge fan of in this video. And with that, we are just going to say carry on my wayward son. And this is the end of the episode.
I just rambled a lot, and uh, by a lot, I mean a lot. And I still have to do a lot of things. And actually, do where can I see it? TN uh, explosive. Okay, there is this guy, and I have to reach this. Actually, this. Yeah, this can be achieved really relatively closely. Explosive B will solve a huge problem for us. <laughs> anyway, besides that, what we're gonna do between the episodes is getting ready for the fluid reactor. And also, I'm in my test world, I'm gonna do some experiments. So, yes. This is our current situation, and after that, we are not gonna depend on this stack and benzene production for our production, uh, energy production. And red alloy, red alloy wire, okay, we have some, but it's not enough. Anyway, this can be just manual for now, and... Yeah, please do not forget to give me some feedback. I'm currently out of clue. I'm a dinosaur in YouTube. Uh, even this, uh, even though this channel is relatively new, I'm a dinosaur, and all my mindset is stuck in that. So, any feedback for the channel, for the machines, for the architecture and also we are gonna need to make a another room here for the nuclear stuff so yeah uh, any feedback will be nice and also any like and interactions in the channel it will help the channel to grow and i will really appreciate it and this is crafty and have a nuclear day